Thanks for tuning in to Spend Less, Live Well with Dr. Josh Luke, dropping serious wisdom, integrating healthy living, finance, and faith into the healthcare process to live your best life. Watch us on YouTube or listen to anywhere podcasts are found. Spend less and live well. Spend less, live well with Dr. Josh Luke. Today, uh, we are going to talk about direct primary care as a really rapidly emerging uh, method for people to access, uh, get direct access to a personal family physician, kind of like back in the old days, right? Uh, we've gotten away from that through uh, HMOs, PPOs, everything else. We just don't see uh, as many practices that offer that personal relationship. Even most doctors don't go to the hospital now. They have special doctors that only go to the hospital. So there's an emerging practice called direct primary care, and I actually am a member of one, and I'm actually going to go to the doctor, and you're going to share in that experience with me. I have to let you know there's nothing really graphic that some of you might consider what I'm about to show you. It's my elbow, uh, gross, because um, I have, um, over the past, I gosh, about 12 years now, three times uh, fallen on my elbow. Yeah, I'm tall and clumsy. And uh, I have had bursitis, which is essentially a sack of fluid that grows in your elbow. And um, the first time it happened was in 2010. I was coaching Little League and I think one of the tripped or something, one of the kids, and I fell down. And I actually, it was the time in my life, and many of you are familiar with this, when I had made the decision, my wife and I, to go without health insurance or health benefits. I had no insurance. I was uh, between jobs as a hospital CEO. And one of the other coaches in the Little League was a physician. And uh, I said, hey, what is this? He said, it's bursitis. He goes, that's pretty bad. You better have it checked out. And my elbow had just blown up to be so big. And so let me just go ahead and show you now what we're dealing with, okay? Um, this is the injured elbow. You can see how shiny it is. You can see a little rounding here. If you look at a different angle, you can see, whoa, that looks really bad, Josh. You need to have it go check, go get it checked out. Well, we're about to go get it checked out together. You get to come with me. So if you look at the comparison, they look significantly different. It just so happens that this is the same elbow um, that I've had bursitis in three times. So just to finish that story, I know you're like, let me see that again. That was disgusting. Look at, yeah, it's all shiny. It's bruised. It's actually been about three weeks and I wasn't sure if I was going to get one. Um, but yeah, after about two weeks, I started to feel fluid building. And this thing a couple times got way bigger. It, it actually came out maybe even a half inch further last time before I, I had to go to a specialist. And that's one of the messages I want to share with you today uh, is, so the second time this happened, so, so 12, uh, 10 years ago, 2010, first time it happened, Little League, a uh, guy came over in my kitchen, took a needle, no anesthesia, drained it. It took two or three times because uh, there was so much fluid in there. Um, didn't work, had to come over the next time. And he actually gave me a little medication the next time, uh, a week or so later. And he said, if this one doesn't work, you're gonna have to go to, the, to um, the, a specialist. Well, second time it works, that was great. So fast forward about six years and my wife and I are traveling. I wanna say we're in South Beach having a good time. Uh, and we're in one of those pools where there's about six inches of, of water and then there's a step down. And I stepped into the pool and um, just my heel gave out. I slipped, fell so hard on uh, my elbow. Ugh. But there were so many people watching. I had to act cool. Like, I'm fine. You know what I mean? I'm cool. I'm good. I was like, are you okay? I'm like, oh my gosh, my elbow's in so much pain. I don't even know where to, how I can, how I can get the uh, energy to smile right now. Uh, and so got bursitis then. And um, that time, as it evolved, I ended up having to go to a specialist because the primary care doctors that I dealt with said, I don't want to deal with that. You need to go to um, an orthopedic specialist or, or some other type of doctor that deals specifically with that. And so I finally got to a doctor and here's the point I want to make for you guys. Okay. I think I had to pay $230 cash because at the time I did not have insurance. Uh, I think uh, I was a member of cost sharing plan at the time. So uh, the cost is mine. So I paid the $230 and then at the end, and some of you have heard this story before, he said, oh, I'm gonna send this out to the lab. And I said, whoa, hold on, hold on. I'm an EHC, I'm an engaged healthcare consumer. And I need to know how much that's gonna cost me. And I also would like to know why you're sending it to the lab. You already told me what was wrong. Are you concerned about something else? And he said, no, I just wanna be sure. And I said, well, I'd like to be sure of the price. So he had his assistant call. And she came back and said, yeah, it's going to be like $230. And I said, yeah, I, I really don't want to spend that kind of money because it all comes out of my pocket. 
And he said, well, I really do think we should send it in just in case there's something we missed. And he said, but I also had her ask what it would cost just to send a vial in instead of a big cup. And that's only $80. And I said, I, I think I'm okay with that. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So for $80, I found out there was nothing else wrong. Uh, but that, uh, so many stories in one during this uh, episode. Um, we're going to talk about direct primary care. We're going to take you to the doctor with me. Um, but also learning about becoming an engaged healthcare consumer, asking your doctor. That's one of the 10 tips to spend less on healthcare, right? So all these things are important. So we're going to wrap up here. So, so this time around, I um, third time, uh, 2020, uh, I made the unwise decision of trying out my daughter's uh, hoverboard uh, to prove that I could do it. And I was holding onto the side of the truck, going very slow, leaning forward. And after about 30 or 45 seconds, I was building confidence, doing great. I was just about done. And somebody drove up in a truck about next to me and said, hey, Josh, how's it going? And I'm like, oh, hey, and I go to step off. And I learned later, you don't step off backwards. <laughs> and I did that. And sure enough, by the time my foot hit the ground, my other foot was like way up here. And uh, I fell backwards on my elbow. And again, of course, I acted like, oh, it's cool. Nothing's wrong. And my wife's like, well, your elbow's dripping blood. Is that a problem? And then I said, great. I'm sure I'm going to have bursitis. And it took about two weeks. But here we are. So let's go to the doctor together to see what he can do. And you know what, guys? I pay $150 a month to be a member of a, oh, there's a good angle right there, of a direct primary care practice, $150 for my family. And there is no additional cost to me to go have this done. So we're going to go to the drop-in doc in your Belinda, California, Dr. Adam Schulte. And he is going to drain my elbow. And we're going to learn about direct primary care. And then I will come back and wrap up this episode after we get back from the doctor. Here we are at the drop-in doc, Yorba Linda, California. It's my primary care uh, doctor. How are, Hi, you? Mr. Luke, how are you? I'm good, how are you? You're here to see Dr. Schulte? I am. Come on in. He's expecting me. All right. Okay. Hey, okay, thank you so much. Oh, well, Dr. Schulte, here at the drop-in doc. We're gonna do a little needle aspiration today, huh? All right, yep. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This is where I'm going to sit, and we're going to come back after Dr. Schulte is done draining that nasty elbow I showed you earlier. We'll get it done. Uh, the pros and the cons of doing both, but as far as we can watch this, see how it goes, but this is something you don't need to send out to a lab. Um, I know the signs and things to be looking for about what we would have to send out to a lab for. So more cost savings, less time spent, better patient satisfaction. Hey folks, if you want to learn more about direct primary care, you can go to our not-for-profit website at spendlessonhealthcare.org. There's a whole section on the partners page about direct primary care. Um, Sidera Health also has now a map nationally. Uh, but if you're in North Orange County and are interested in learning more about the drop-in doc, uh, can you tell them where they can find out more about you? Absolutely. Just go to www.thedropindoc.com. You can find us on Google. Um, call us, schedule a free consultation. I'll do a free health assessment, tell you what we're all about, tell you about all the different ways that you can save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in healthcare expenses. And we'd love to have you. So please feel free to give us a call. So I've been about six months now with the drop-in doc. It's 150 bucks a month for my family of uh, four. Uh, we walk in anytime. I basically was texting the doctor on, a, on an app spruce last night. Hey, when can I come see you on a weekend? And he got back to me. Uh, it's a great program. You guys should all check it out. Thanks for tuning in to Spend Less, Live Well. All right, folks, we're wrapping up. I got a Band-Aid on my elbow. I've been here about 15 or 20 minutes. Honestly, it only took about 10 minutes, but Dr. Schulte always spends time to ask me how I'm doing, check out some other things that we've talked about over the last six months or so since I've been with him. And I just asked him about, I told you the story about last time this happened about the specimen the doctor wanted to send out to the lab. And here's how he responded. You can show him the specimen yeah, absolutely. too. absolutely. So we basically pulled out about 10 cc's or 10 milliliters of fluid. As you can see, it's a little bit red tinged. This is what's called a serosanguinous fluid, literally meaning that there's protein and blood coming from the elbow and the electronon bursa. This, this is a pretty common finding, but it's not something that you have to send out necessarily, either by patient preference or if the doctor feels comfortable doing it. In this case, this is pretty common. It's not a sign of anything infectious. So rather than rack up any extra expenses at, at Josh's expense, I always leave it at his decision. I educate him and tell him uh, the pros and the cons of doing both. But as far as we can watch this, see how it goes, but this is something you don't need to send out to a lab. Um, I know the signs and things to be looking for about what we would have to send out to a lab for. So more cost savings, less time spent, better patient satisfaction.
Hey folks, if you want to learn more about direct primary care, you can go to our not-for-profit website at spendlessonhealthcare.org. There's a whole section on the partners page. So I'm back from my appointment at my direct primary care, care doctor. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Sorry about not warning you about him showing you that vial of the fluid he removed from my arm. But guys, that's how easy it is. For $150 a month, my family of four um, can walk in anytime. He actually offers 24-7. Um, telehealth through an app. But uh, I wanted to share with you because I know a lot of DPC doctors don't offer 24-7 access. There is an awesome benefit that I also use called Advo Health, A-D-V-O Health. For $25 a month, your family can get access 24-7 to a physician through Teladoc um, on your iPhone, on your pad, on your computer, um, 24 seven. So whether you have insurance or not, you pay $25, you get a doctor anytime you can have a prescription written anytime you want. Um, this is a groundbreaking new opportunity that's really sweeping through healthcare as well. Check it out online at your Advo health, Y O U R A D V O health. Awesome. Um, new concept. I have both direct primary care um, 620 bucks, excuse me, I have a, a cost sharing plan, $620. I have um, direct primary care doctor, $150. I have um, 24 seven access to Teladoc through Advo Health, okay? Um, as an alternative to insurance, which costs me twice that much per month. And then my share of costs is outrageous on top of that. So um, check it out. Hope you enjoyed this uh, brief glimpse into direct primary care. And if you want to learn where you can find a direct care, primary care provider in your market or your region, uh, you can go to spendlessonhealthcare.org. You see the name in the back, spendlessonhealthcare.org. Go to the partners page and you'll see uh, under direct primary care, you'll see Sedera Health has a listing there of direct primary care doctors throughout the country. Thanks for tuning in. Spend less, live well. Um, we have an attitude of gratitude, and we hope you saw that come through in today's um, field trip episode of uh, Spend Less, Live Well. Thanks for tuning in to Spend Less, Live Well with Dr. Josh Luke, the crossroads of integrating healthy living, finance, and faith into the healthcare process to live your best life. Watch us on YouTube or listen anywhere podcasts are found. Spend less and live well.